guys welcome back to another rough time raptors so do i need to ask you what we're doing we're doing another sprinter so this one has come up from down south uh, this belongs to a young couple luke and amy uh, if you want to check them out they've got a little youtube channel that that nomad pair so you can go and check them out i'll drop a link in the description and um, so basically we've got their uh, 2013 sprinter now if you have checked out their videos you'll see that they did tackle some of the rust issues on one of their earlier videos however it's come back through quite aggressively um but to be fair it was middle of winter when they tackled it so there's a few little rust scabs to sort out you can see where this isn't them this is where somebody else has done a repair and painted it white Few little rust scabs on the corners nothing too major one issue we do have is the top of the back door is kicking out and you can see where the body fill is cracked on it as well and it's kicking out because basically somebody's had an impact here which has shoved the bottom hinge in As you can see this should be sat flush so the hinge has gone in by at least probably an inch so I need to get the porter power behind that and push the hinge back out and that should kick the door back out the bottom which should pull it back in at the top because basically it's sitting on a pivot like that so when the hinge is back out it should sit straight but at the moment it's kicking out so that's like the only that's like the, probably one of the major issues getting that hinge sorted straight yeah top of the back door you can probably see it there the dents like they're kicking out but not too bad um the runner we have got an issue with that Obviously corrosion's getting behind and it's corroded the runner as well which kind of looks untidy. Now because of the way the bed's set out and everything inside and the kitchen units we can't get the runner off because there's basically a piece of 3 by 2 sitting straight across which is holding all the framework in and it's just you'd have to rip all the build out to get to it. Now he did say how about cutting it but we can't cut the edge off to get to it behind because he was thinking like you don't need the full runner but it's bolted there but to try and cut it off you'd end up cutting through the bodywork so that's not no go anyway so basically we're going to treat it get in as far as we can we're going to sort all the rust out on here and then we're going to wrap to the rail as well not always ideal but we're going to wrap to it and then seal it and hopefully that should prevent the rust from uh, getting in we'll try and get in as far as we can but obviously you've got that ridge there so you can't get in right behind but you can only do what you can do can't you and then obviously there's a little bit of rust just starting under there they always go on the runners here like i said we can we can treat it but it will come back at some point but we can't guarantee you when but all we can do is do our best with it and just try and get out as much as we can and hopefully hold it back for a few years but other than that the van is actually quite straight it's not actually that bad so what we need to do first job because it's raining you can't really go around and mark all the dents so I think what we'll do for the first job is get all the plastic stripped off everything um, all the solar panels have already taken off because they're um, doing something with eco flow and they're having new solar put on so eco so when it's been here it's going back down to eco floor and they're putting a the new solar panel on um but yeah so i think the first job we'll go around we'll strip all the plastics off lights off everything everything that comes off comes off a couple of little dents down there but other than that not too bad so first job let's get it stripped we like stripping vans don't we anyway right let's crack on right guys as you can see we've been a little bit busy got it all stripped down so what we need to do now is go around with the marker find any dents any scratches bits of rust but yeah fully stripped so we'll go around it now get it all marked up and then we'll see what we're up against so our next job hit it with the marker <sighs> so the obvious ones we've got is the rust which Luke and Amy already tackled if you saw one of their videos uh, so they'd already had a go at this and cleaned it all up themselves and treated it but as you can see 
it's come back quite aggressively. Now, as I do say with Rust, we never give a guarantee against Rust because Rust will always come back. However, that one has come back quite a lot. So we'll clean it up as best we can and treat it and it should hold it back for quite a while. But you can never tell with Rust because basically you've got to think that's your panel. So the Rust is on this side. So I'm treating this side, cleaning this side up, but I can't see what's on this side because it's inside the van. So it could be really aggressive on this side and not so bad on this side. And I clean it up and then it just comes through. So it's we can never give a guarantee against Rust unless... You cut the section out and put a new section in. That's the only guarantee we'll give, which isn't always feasible. It's all right if it's a wing or something like that, or an arch, but when you're talking something like a sill or a sill panel, not really a lot you can do about it. All we can do is treat it and hold it back as best we can. Anyway, I'm waffling. So we'll go around and we'll get some um, circling done, because there's quite a few little spots here and there. Excuse my sniffles, by the way. This could take quite a while, so I'll tell you what, we'll speed it up and we'll go around it on time lapse for a change. Why not? Right guys, as you can see we've been around with the pen and quite bad, especially the top of the roof up there, quite a lot of rust, especially the top of the windscreen on the lip just there, that's quite a bad section there. Ideally, you could probably do with the windscreen out to treat that, but we just have to do the best we can. So I'll get in as far as I can, but yeah, ideally that would have been better with the windscreen out. But anyway, as you can see, just a few dents and bits of rust to tackle. He says just a few. Incidentally, I put the sunglasses on because the reflection of the sun on the side of the van made it impossible for me to see anything. It was blinding me. I'm not trying to look cool or anything. It's just quite bright. So quite a lot of rust on the front, as you saw. A few big dents. That needs all the uh, original filler taking out and redoing still need to pull this hinge out so I think that'll probably be the next job is to try and straighten that hinge out and get the door a bit straighter and then we'll start tackling all the bodywork so next job I think I'm going to uh, tackle that hinge and get that sorted out and then we'll go around and start grinding all the rust awesome fun 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 in the sun 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 so after much fiddling I've managed to get my portal power in behind the hinge so I'm hoping I can push the hinge back out absolute pain to get into but it seems the only way to be able to do it well there you go guys after much playing I've got it about as straight as I can get it still a little bit of a gap I'm not happy with but it is a lot better hmm better than it was I might still have a little play with it I'm still not 100% happy but it's better and I know they'll be happy with it and once it's all re-skimmed and everything it'll look better as well so anyway let's crack on get some grinding done and then we can get some treatment in awesome now one thing I've noticed you see the water dripping down now if you watch Luke and Amy's video of them when they treated those. I kept noticing drips coming down when she was treating that. And you can see water dripping down now that I've straightened it all out with the portal power. It suddenly started dripping water. These are prone for the sills filling up with water. So what I'm gonna do before I start grinding, I'm gonna get a screwdriver and poke all the sills because there's like little drain holes. But let's just see what comes out, shall we? Because I got a funny feeling that these sills have got quite a bit of water in them. 
especially looking at that considering how much of a trickle it's pulling down so let's get a screwdriver and clean the sills out first now if you look it's dripping all the way along so look at my little pokey tool there's the drain hole look at that I think when Luke and Amy see this, they're going to be quite surprised. That is a lot of water. Keep your drain holes clear. The National Grid have plumbed into this one. We get a call of United Utilities in a minute, aren't we? This. This is unbelievable. And this isn't even the middle section, this is just the back section. Wow. This has either been parked in a river, or, yeah. That is ridiculous, isn't it? show you if you see that that is the drain all there if you've got one of these keep it gunk free can you see it right and then you wonder why these vans have rot problems let's check the others Well, the one on the sill is actually quite clear. That's obviously been emptied before at some point. Well, on that section of the sill anyway. This sill, so you got one, two, three, four, four little drain holes. You'll see them because they're like that's where your sill runs along. The drain holes sort of like have little grooves like that, and then the grooves get full of shit, so you have to clean them out. Right, should we see if this side's as bad as that side? What do you reckon? Oh, we've got a gusher. I reckon this van will be about 100 kilos lighter as well by the time this is finished. Wow. Shows you how much water collects in the back end, doesn't it? These must have been like full right up to there. Like carrying fish ponds around, won't it? That's bad. Not as bad as that side. That side was really bad. This side is not too bad. Well, it's still bad, but not as bad. Nope. All good. So. <sighs> so, yeah, just the back ones. Still dripping away. Awesome. Right, let's get some grinding done.
Right guys, that's all the grinding done. I've got in as far as I can behind that, which without taking the runner off, which is impossible unfortunately because of the units, there's no way to get in any further behind it. Um, so we've got all the rust ground out, as you can see all the way around. Quite aggressive in some places, not too bad in others. Um, cleaned out all the body filler up there, just to try and get an idea of the shape. And you can see up here, it's kind of like dented in, so... I think the door's actually a little twisted, to be honest. Um, but I'll try and get it a bit closer. I mean, I'm happy with the gap, and I know he'll be happy with the gap, considering what it was. But I still think it needs a little bit more. I'm still not 100% happy with it. Um, so the next job is... Oh, the sill was quite aggressive, as you saw. So we've got in as far as we can with that. So the next job is to go around and treat all the rust. A tedious job. Very tedious. Not my favourite job, unfortunately. It has to be done. I'll save you the time lapse on that one. I won't do the time lapse on that. I'll put myself through the misery of having to do it. I won't put you through it. So the next job is to treat the rust. So I'll go around and treat all the rust. Yay! As you can tell, it's not my favourite job of the uh, body work. I don't mind grinding, I don't mind... Even body filling, I don't mind that. You know, the sanding, because you can see it taking shape. But it's just tedious things like rust treatment. A bit boring, isn't it? Just sat there brushing in. But anyway, I'll crack on with it. Otherwise, it'll never get done. While the sun shines. Right, guys. Been round. Treated all the rust, as you can see. Now, I'm going to take this moment just to explain to you. Even though we've cleaned up the rust and ground as much of it out as possible, we've got it treated and you can just see it's starting to turn black now. Where it's turning black, that's where the rust is still in the metal. And I don't think people realise this. We treat it and we clean it up, but it's never a cure-all. The only way to cure it, that's your rusty part there, the only way to cure it is to cut that section out and put a new piece in which obviously with a section like this, it isn't always vi viable. And even with little bits, you can't go around welding little panels in everywhere because you're just creating more problems then. But I think people need to understand that with rust, when it's in the metal, it's in the metal. It's like a cancer, it just like eats into it and there's no way of getting it out unless you actually cut it out. So like we could treat it now and worst case scenario, it could even start coming back in a week. I have seen rust start coming back in like a few days, which is why body shops will not guarantee rust. They'll give you a guarantee on body repairs and all that, but the only thing they won't guarantee against is rust. For the simple fact that unless you actually cut the metal out, it's going to stay there. So it's like we can treat it, but it's still there. It's still, it's still saying I'm still here on the other side of the panel. You treat this side of the panel, we clean it up and paint it. But on the other side of the panel, it's still there, it's still in the panel, and it's, you don't know what's on the back of the panel. In the old days, cars used to be duck oiled, if you remember. They used to wax oil all inside and everything, and that kept them all dry, but nowadays they don't do that. So you look on the inside of this panel on a bare van, and it's literally just bare metal with one coat of paint. So when you get moisture in the air, and the moisture, you said yourself when you're in your vans, the moisture sticks on the inside of the walls. So any bits that are exposed, from screw holes or anything like that are going to start eating in from the inside outwards so I just need to explain to people that we clean the rust up treat it as much as we can but unless that rust is actually cut out it will come back and I'm going to say that these areas are the way, the areas that are prone for it coming back arches sills places like that but it's anybody's guess as to when it can come back. It can be a day, it can be a week, it could be a month, it could be a year. Fingers crossed it's like years, but in reality, sometimes it can start coming back within a month. So I'm just forewarning you, if you do get your van booked in anywhere, it's not just me, with anybody else, and say after you pick it up, it looks all nice and pristine, and after a week, you start seeing little rust bubbles come back through. Unfortunately, that's the nature of the beast. And that's why body shops won't warranty any rust now i have out of my off my own back repaired some for other people in the past when they've come back through because i feel bad but there is a point where you have to cross the line and go it's going to happen and it's going to keep happening so i'm just giving you all you guys all 
a warning on that. And I'll tell you another place that they're prone for as well. And just take you around. Thankfully, this one hasn't started yet. But on the flex point there on the door, and there, you'll see a lot of them start splitting. Now, I've just done another one. Um, and I re-welded it. Well, actually, I, I didn't. I got my mate to re-weld it because I'm not doing welding anymore. But we've re-welded it. But I've actually warned him that if it splits again, he is going to have to get another door, worst case scenario, because otherwise it's just going to keep coming back. Even on my van, when I welded mine, if you remember my video, mine started splitting again. I don't know it would. But it's just the nature of the beast. So anyway, just taking a minute there just to explain to you about rust. That even though we treat it and we kill it, and we clean it all up and it looks nice it's still there so unfortunately any rust repairs people won't guarantee them but we can just hope for the best we can clean them as much as we can and hope for the best so anyway i'll quit waffling and i want to uh, start tackling some of the dents now start tackling some of the body work and try and get all this side pulled out and straight and everything so yeah rust it's a bastard. Hi right, guys, as you can see, we've been a little bit busy. So all the rust has been treated. It's been in there 24 hours. In the meantime, I've been round, put the first skim in all the dents and then sanded all that up. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna DA the full van. Um, so I'm gonna DA it all so that I've got all the rusty spots clear. So when it's all DA'd, I can then fill in all the bits that have been treated as you can see the back doors are looking a lot more tidy better in shape with that first skim up there now you can really see it get into shape gaps are all good so yeah i'm happy with that so next job da it go around give it all the da get it all get all the paint off get it all keyed so let's get the in. Right guys, so in the last shot you saw me DA in the van. However, we have actually painted the van now because I forgot to turn the camera on for painting, so my fault. Anyway, and this is Luke and Amy, or that nomad pair on YouTube, and it's their van. What so do you think to it? So happy. Such yeah. a difference. Yeah, we left like a rusty white minging van and come back to this so yeah it's, yeah it's exactly awesome what one is. yeah looks a bit of a different van doesn't it yeah, let's have a walk around it to show you <laughs> so as usual we've got all the plastics in black and anthracite grey really loving the shade this time i don't know why it just looks different to when it was on the box though Back end's looking nice and tidy. See the back door? Remember the back door being all twisted? That's all nice and straight now. Awesome, isn't it? I'm actually really pleased with how well that back door's come out. I was a bit dubious. I thought it might be a bit slightly kicking out still. But it's actually sitting quite flush. So, give myself a pat on the head for that one. 
No windows on this side. Uh, we had the wheels running black, as you can see, and the hubcaps. Um, yeah, so I think the next job for these two is they're going down to EcoFlow and having their solar refitted. So, there you go, awesome. Another one done. Another that's... sprinter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still can't believe it's the same van. Yeah. Mental. And if you want to see more of the van, go and check out the channel. Yeah. That yeah. nomad pair, you'll see it travelling all over England and Europe and the world. <laughs> yeah. As they are full time in it. We are, yeah. yeah. Living the drive, living the dream. <laughs> anyway, thanks for, thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe, stay entertained, and we'll see you in the next one. See you later. See you later. Say bye. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>